Hi guys, my name is Justus Makiwa. Welcome to It's Not That Deep. <laughs> All right, I'm 22 years and I'm studying um, at EUL. I'm doing new media and communications. And I, am, I do a lot. <laughs> I do motion pictures, TV and media production. That means I do like um, content creation, video creation, poster designs and flyer designs, uh, video production, directing as well, and video editing as well. So it pretty much the, the media stuff. <laughs> That's what I do, yeah. You know, I have a mentor and he once told me that like the graveyard is the richest place on earth because a lot of people died with billionaire ideas. So it really hit me and there's this other quote, I always like tell my friends about that, that we lose 100% of the chances we don't take. So sometimes you don't have to wait and to know something, you get it, you just gotta try it and then you know. Because a larger percentage of the things that we can do, we can do, you get it but we, we can't do because we don't do. What is it that you're gonna do? Are you really gonna do? Are you just like gonna say, ah, I know I read somebody one day that said this, this and that. So for me, I start even with nothing. I do whatever I can. So like, that's when I learned that it's not about like, first having to have it all so that you can do it all. It's about having nothing at all, but being able to do it all. Because when they take those stuff away from you, we, we, we should still be able to identify that you are you, you get it? <laughs> so. You can only get there when you start. So that's just like basically it. Don't make the graveyard so rich. What does dance mean for you? What kind of impact does it have on you, your life, and maybe your outlooks uh, mm. the world? Dance is a part of me emotionally, and it has made me to be somebody in the society. It has given me confidence to stand in front of people and perform. Um, even with the thought that you might mess up, but the confidence that you know that you can do it, it has like given me an identity and it has given me comfort. When you're feeling down, you just dance. That emotional attachment towards myself. Before you die, what's one thing you really want to achieve? And hmm. do you think you are on your way there? Yeah, you know, I've got this saying, if you check my post from like 2020, I always said I'm, I'm going to leave a legacy that no one is ever going to forget. I've got like this big vision. I'm going to own the biggest motion pictures, television and media production company in the world. I've already started. I even have registered like Jusso Productions when I was like in high school. And if you see the type of things that I do, sometimes I go up, sometimes I go down. But at the end of the day, it's building me to become a better person within my field. And I know that I'm going to make it. And I always say this because I want to go back to these videos and then when I'm there and then I'll be like <laughs> all right yeah you'll be like telling yourself like now this is me you get it from daily goals weekly goals monthly goals four years goals and I know exactly when I'm gonna make it that's the one thing that I'm gonna that I'm telling you and each and every day I'm moving towards it that's that's a question right there. <laughs> that's one thing, that's a question. I want people to remember me because of the impact that I've left. You know, when you actually think of it now, <laughs> you, you see that you've got a lot, a lot to do, mostly to give rather than to take. It's not always, I don't want people to remember me of what I have had, of what I've done for myself, but I want people to remember me of the impact that I've left within the society, lives of people that I've changed within myself. Because that's true legacy. True legacy is not about what I have left within myself. So, you know, this guy knew him, he was, he was very rich or he did something like that. But if like, you see this guy, you know, you see this place, that's him. You see this person, that's him. I want people to say, if it wasn't for that video that I saw of this guy, you know, I wouldn't be here where I am. I want people to remember me and say like, that guy, yes, he's not here, but he's still here. Because now that's true legacy. Everything that I was saying, that was me. So at the end of the day, it's your life and not mine. Mine is okay as it is, but I hope what I say impacts you in a different way. But whatever you choose to do, it's not that deep. <laughs>